Hello friends, this is Elise and I am going to do a little unboxing of another Happy Mail uh, friend pen mail swap. <laughs> Sorry, I am having trouble finding my words lately. Um, this gorgeous package that I have not opened, I just opened the lid, is from my SD bestie Kim at ADH underscore done. Um, she also is the owner of Panache Planner, so that's her little company sticker there. And we did an ink swap, and I'm so excited to open this. I'm like breathless. So immediately, like, look at this beautiful packaging. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she sent me some stickers and stuff. <gasps> look at this. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's these really cute ink bottles for swatches. Um, oh, coffee cups. She knows me. We ordered Estes and got ours on the same day or around the same day. So we were like, we're Estee besties. Oh my gosh. So awesome. I'm so excited. Thank you, girl. Yay, numbers. Oh my gosh, books, pages read. Yes, oh my gosh, I love all of these so much. That was like a really sweet surprise. Let me open this card. <laughs> my SD bestie. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, stop. She sent me Astology. <gasps> I love you so much for that. I could either use this for my work planner or I could use it for my next journal. I can't decide which, but thank you so much. That was so sweet. I have to open these first. Who am I kidding? She has a code for Ferris Wheel Press. So if you guys need a code for Ferris Wheel Press, use her code ADH. Um, that will give you 10% off. Oh my gosh. What? The inkwell? Stop. This is so cute. And then you like, I think you put it like, how do you do this? You put it like this. Yes, like this. And then you can spin it so that your shimmer inks will stay agitated. Oh, that's so cool. Yay. Oh my gosh. And it's so adorable. Just like something so cute to keep on my desk also. Royal Rhubarb. Shut up. I literally was like looking at this the other day thinking about if I should order it because they were having like a special that you would get like a free ink if you ordered something. Um, but I didn't end up ordering it because I promised myself I'm not going to make any more purchases. And I'm so glad I didn't because here it is. I love Royal Rhubarb. This is such a beautiful color. It is... Um, it truly is, like, if you know what rhubarb looks like when it's, like, cooked, it truly is that color. How do I get this out? Um, and it's just such a deep, rich, like, pinky red. It's so beautiful. There's the label. And then she has, like, a little dot on here. That's what it looks like. I'm so excited. Hardy Harvest. Oh, my word. I wanted this ink so bad. She mentioned that she was going to get it and send it to me. And I'm just seriously feeling so spoiled, so loved, so blessed. Thank you so much. Look at all that shimmer. I cannot wait to ink this up. This is so beautiful. Ah, so excited. Okay, so let's get swatching. Um, so here is Royal Rhubarb. This is a standard ink. I have only a sample of this and um, I've had it in, I think two or three pens and it has always performed really well, like very wet, not dry at all. Um, great color payoff, behaves well in pens. So I am so thrilled to have a bottle of this. I can't even believe that she sent me bottles. Thank you so much again. But look at that gorgeous red. Um, in person, it's more of like a rosy red. On camera, it looks more of an orangey red right now for some reason. But uh, yeah, it's a gorgeous color. If you like 
reds, deep reds, pinky reds, I would highly suggest this ink. And then we'll do Hardy Harvest, which <laughs> just like, oh, I can't believe she sent this to me. Thank you, Kim. I'm shook. Here we go. Oops, come on down. I love how deep and burnt orange this looks. I love a good darker toned orange so much. I know most people have probably already tried this. I'm a little late to the party, but oh my goodness. I'm so in love with that color. I can't wait to see what that looks like once it's dry with all the shimmer. I think I'm going to have to put that in a pen right away. Okay, then let's go with the um, similar toned samples. So we'll do uh, Sailor Monyo Sakura plus Hana Ikata plus Iridescent Shimmer. Very excited to try her shimmer blends because she always sends me like little snippets of them um, when she's playing with them and they're all so beautiful. Whoa, that is a gorgeous coral pinky color. Wow. I can't wait to see what the iridescent shimmer looks like once it's dry. Kim's mix. <laughs> I'm just going to put coral with iridescent. And she has used these in her pens and hasn't had any issues with anything clogging because of the shimmer. So that's really exciting. I, From what I could tell, it looks like a very fine shimmer. So it's not like a chunky shimmer that's going to clog up your feed. Okay, here's Ferris Wheel Press Golden Gate Glow. She made these really cute little ink swatch um, stickers. I didn't even notice that when I was opening them. <laughs> as soon as I line them all up, I'm like, oh, duh, they all have their little labels on here. <laughs> but ooh, this is pretty I've seen a lot of people using this um in their like currently inked so ferris wheel press golden gate glow next we have ferris wheel press pumpkin patch plus autumn and auburn plus shimmer Yes, my kind of mix. <laughs> I love that she likes to mix inks as much as I do. I think it's so fun. This is so pretty. This is like if Hardy Harvest and Golden Gate Glow had a baby. It would be this color. <laughs> that is a gorgeous orange. Wow. And we don't know what kind of shimmer this is, so it'll be fun to see. So Kim, FWP Mix. Okay, and then we have Song of Scarlet. I don't think I've tried this one yet. I think I've tried all the other red Ferris Will Press inks, but this was one that I haven't had a chance to get yet, and uh, I'm so happy to have it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I think this is definitely my favorite out of all the ones I've tried. I love a deep, rich red like this. This is so pretty. Can't wait to see that dry too. Okay, then we have Yamabuto plus red blue shimmer. I'm so excited for this one. I've been realizing lately the more um, different kinds of shimmers that I've tried. At first I loved inks with like gold shimmer. Like I really loved a gold shimmer or like a rose gold shimmer, a pink shimmer. I didn't really like cool tone shimmers, 
but I've been trying lately a couple of inks with a blue shimmer or a teal shimmer like Moonbeam from the Ink Vent and then Nightfall had like a greenish teal shimmer and then I just um, got a Journalize ink that has a teal shimmer and I am realizing that I'm quite obsessed with that because it's so beautiful and just kind of like surprising. <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is my new favorite combo for sure, right here. Hello, this is so pretty. I shook it up too much, that's why there's bubbles, but. Whoa, that is gorgeous. So, Yamabudo, plus Yamabudo is just like, the best color. I'm gonna write up here. Happy mail from Kim. Okay. Let's do Neko Yanagi and then we'll go into the blue greens. So I feel like Neko Yanagi is similar to Jacaranda from this year's ink vent, but this I think Neko Yanagi I think has more um First of all, more chromo shading and is a little bit lighter, maybe. Sailor Neko Yanagi. It also kind of reminds me of, well, no, I was going to say Blue Barrel Tonic and Blushing Mushroom, but both of those are very different base colors than this. But yeah, it's similar to Jacaranda, um, which I love. It's such a pretty color. And I'm. Um, if it's too light, I'm definitely going to combine it with something else and add shimmer and I will definitely be using up this whole thing. But it doesn't look too light from there. I think in a broad enough nib, like a medium Twisby nib that I have, I think it'll be fine. Totally fine. All right, let's do Colorverse NGC 1850. Oh, it does have shimmer. I like doing swatches like this. I know I've seen like a few people do them like this and I really like this. I think it looks cool. This is a gorgeous teal. This is like my favorite kind of teal. A deep, deep, deep dark teal. I don't like anything that leans like way too much on the bright blue teal side. Um. Yeah, this is like my favorite. When I added more, now it looks kind of black, but I'm sure in the writing we'll be able to see the teal. So color verse NGC 1850. Love this one. It feels really wet too, which is cool. Co Row plus Pink Gold Shimmer. I remember her showing me this and it was so beautiful. Ooh, yes. That is a gorgeous teal. Or turquoise, I don't know the difference. I just watched a video the other day and they said that the difference was, it was my Dandelion Diaries and she said she looked it up and the difference was that teal is on the darker side, it's darker blue-green and turquoise is on the lighter side of blue-green. That's definitely, whenever I am buying inks again, I really want to get a few bottles of the Eros Jizuku, I want to get Yamabudu. Yamabudo. I think I definitely want to get C.O. Rowe now. And um, I also really like, 
Ajisai, which is also very similar to Neko Yutenagi. That's the other one I was thinking of. Okay, next let's do Hampton Harbor Sage. Look at how that Yamabudo is drying with that shimmer. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Look at that. Oh wow, that's gorgeous already. I just laid it down. Look at the chromo shading in the Neko Yanagi. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> These are all so beautiful. Okay, so Hampton Harbor Sage. By the way, um, this dip pen is from Amazon. And I will try to remember to link it below because every time I use it, everybody's like, what dip pen is that? And it really is awesome. And it comes with different types. You can, it comes with like some calligraphy nibs as well. Um, and that you can replace the glass nib with if you want. So it's a good deal. It was like 20 something dollars. Um, So yeah, I will try to, I think, um, I think it was actually Kim that recommended this dip pen to me. It's a, it's supposed to be a Moon Man dupe dip pen, I believe. I believe, don't hold me to that, but that is gorgeous. Well, Grand Central Skies. I think this is going to be more on the turquoise side. Ooh, this feels really wet. This is so pretty. This is like a mermaid color. I feel like this would be a really good springtime ink. Like April, March, April. Okay, so Ferris will press Frontenac Blue, and I'm very curious about this one. I haven't heard too much about it. Ooh, this is so pretty. What? I'm surprised. This is gorgeous. Wow, I love that color. Custom green mix. Ooh, okay. Ooh, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I'm going to need you to make a big back batch of that, Kim, and bottle that up. That is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, Kim's custom. And it's wet, too. It's like falling off the glass pen. I love that. Green mix. This is so pretty, wow. That is a deep yet vibrant green. And then Goose Poupon, which I have a sample of, but it's, I think it's almost gone actually. But I love this ink. I love like an olive tone ink and I love a dirty ink. And this is both of those things. <laughs> you know, like that dirty kind of browny, muddy looking type. Um, yeah, I love this color and in the pen that I tried it in it was it flowed really well So it's not a dry ink from what I experienced before It's really lovely. So I'm excited for this. Oh Wow, look at that gorgeous color palette of inks I am speechless. I don't know what to say other than thank you again so much, Kim, for sending me all these. I feel spoiled and honored and happy and thankful. And thank you guys all for watching. And hopefully you enjoyed this and got to see new colors. Let's see if, um, yeah, look at that shimmer. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. That is a gorgeous orange, the Royal Rhubarb. Do you see how it has like this really pretty shading and it's almost like a dried like rose petal kind of color. It's a rosy red pink that is so beautiful. Here is that um, coral. It's the Sakura and Hanaikata with 
iridescent shimmer. That is so pretty. I'm kind of digging the iridescent thing if you <laughs> notice my nails. Song of Scarlet. Gorgeous. It's like a blue or light purple shimmer with a green yellow sheen on this dark red base. Really, really pretty. Her mix here, gorgeous with that gold shimmer. Golden Gate Glow looks like it's going to have really pretty shading. That Colorverse NGC1850, it really like shows its teal now that it's dry, but it also has a, I don't know if it's a golden shimmer, but it is a shimmer. And it has that really pretty red sheen, but the sheen is not overpowering, which I love. So that's a stunning color. I love that. The Neko Yanagi, the shading is incredible. I love that blue purple shading and it does look like it's going to be very legible. That was always my concern with this color, which is why I never bought it, but it does look like it's going to be very legible. And then we have the Yamabuto with the blue red shimmer. That's so pretty. I love that. The Frontenac blue is this gorgeous like turquoise almost a muted color because like compared to that like this one's so much brighter this is almost more um muted but I love it I love it I love all of these greens they're all so pretty Hampton Harbor Sage is gorgeous this one is gorgeous I love that color I love her green mix that's stunning Green with Curiosity has a beautiful red shimmer, making it kind of look even purple in some spots with the blue and the teal. And then Goose Poupon. Oh my gosh, these are all so beautiful. I'm so thankful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kim. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know what your favorite ink was. Um, do you like these kind of videos with just me gushing over inks? <laughs> I hope so because I like these kind of videos. I love watching people open their friend um, mail and swatching their inks and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm going to stop babbling. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye guys.